Hello everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Pike and Shot mod. Today, we're taking a look at the French versus the Spanish. I've done the um, reverse previously, where I played as the Spanish against the French, but now we're going to be playing as the French, chosen the Salamanca province map. So we've got a nice town in between. I've given both sides plenty of cannons. So hopefully, we'll reduce this town to ash. With that said, let's go ahead and start the battle. And then we'll go through the troops as uh, we advance. So over on this side, I'm advancing late stage French musketeers. I think these have very early f uh, flintlock muskets, actually. Followed by heavy pikemen. And out there in the flank, we've got uh, Musketeers of the Guard. And then we also have uh, the Governor of Paris Cavalry. I'm just going to move up on the hill. In the center, we've got Guards. We've got the Swiss Pikemen, followed by the Swiss Musketeers. They're going to be moving into town. So, there's them. So the Swiss Pike, followed by Swiss Musketeers. And over here we got the uh, Guard Pikemen, followed by the Guard Musketeers. And they're gonna go down the other route through town here. And over on this side we got two Heavy Pikes. It's gonna be moving over there. Followed by Musketeers of the Guard. And then further out here, we've got another late staged musketeer followed by heavy pikes. And out in the flank, we've got uh, the guards of the cardinal and the guard corps. And they're going to be moving forward over here. Right now, we there's kind of a lot of houses and crap in the way, so I'm just going to order the, these cannons to unleash on the village. Uh, so maybe we can open up a bit of a route. Now, there are Spanish cavalry moving forward here quite rapidly. So I want to prepare against that immediately. So I'm going to form them into line, and we're going to form the pike square up there. We're going to see how the uh, Spanish cavalry can perform against that. The um, King's Guard cavalry. Spanish seems to be focusing quite a lot of troops going down this way, at least in terms of cavalry. Some of their troops are going into town. We're starting to open up here on the houses. So I'm hoping to tear some of these town to open up a route to fire down on the town from. Possibly it could have been better to actually have movable cannons set them up on the flanks to be firing down on the town. Right, the musketeers are opening up at the same time we are receiving enemy fire. I hope, I hope that's not our own. We will form square in preparation of the Spanish cavalry. And at the same time we can see some of the Spanish troops. We've got Catalan militia and Italian musketeers moving rather quickly. So let's get the pikemen in here quickly and the musketeers. Tell them to hurry up. And then we've got the... Uh, Guard units. They're going to be moving up quickly. Then we've got the two heavy pikes. Moving them into formation and with the musketeers standing in front. Cavalry started skirmishing at each other, firing pistols. We've got the uh, Spanish kind of. Uh, I guess they're just trying to wear down the pike formation. Currently, they're moving in. Well, it's good that I placed the pike formation in the back because that's the way 
the guard cavalry is moving. We form the Swiss pikemen into square. We might be actually moving around to find a better spot to hit the um, musketeers. I'm going to tell the cannons to hold fire and then pick target and hopefully fire on the closer unit. At the same time, we've got the musketeers now exchanging fire within town. Might be time to tell these to hold fire. I think they... They haven't actually tore down the house that I ordered them to fire upon. Let's advance these a bit further so we can actually get into combat with them. And two units of cavalry should advance actually take the high ground over there. Oh, we got cavalry charging. Move back behind the cover of the pikes. Quickly now, quickly, the guard musketeer or oh, the guard the Swiss guard musketeers. Cuirassiers exchanging fire with the uh, Paris governor's guard. Heavily armored Spanish troops. Okay, move behind the square if you please. There's no point in you standing out there. Oh, pikes. Move behind the pikes and you will form pike wall. What you can do is actually move over here. Since you can't fire anymore that way, but you can fire down this route. And then you will be able to fire there. And as these are shooting over there, I'll order you to attack the light halberdiers. And then I'll move you in front. And I'll move you on a slight angle. And here we actually got multiple pikes that can attack this one. While you form in the flank with the cavalry now taking up a commanding position on the hill behind here. A lot of the Spanish troops are stuck down this road where the Swiss pikes are holding. And now supporting fire from the uh, musketeers right there. You need to be moved forward so you can actually aid in the fire against the guard musketeers over there. This reducing my pike square. You can sit there and continue shooting. Oh, we've run into some problem here. I need... Who's running? It's one of my pikes. My pikes were broken by the Spanish halberdiers. I did not think that was going to happen. I thought that was a done deal for us. Similar over here, this pike formation is not doing well. And it is need of aid of the cavalry. We're doing better on this side. But we're not doing great on this side, so I think I'm going to move my cavalry around and see about striking that side to see if we can help out, because I'm losing two... I've lost two pike Our formations. Running, which certainly is not great. These are holding on. Now we lost this guard musketeer. Can we get concentrated fire and can I get fire towards here possibly so can I get fire on this thing that would be nice the cavalry of the Cardinals cavalry has struck the Spanish general he's fighting over there while uh, the guard cavalry it's now fighting Spanish Musketeers. So that wasn't actually supposed to be charging in there. You need to be moved. The ah, running, there sir. goes the Musketeers, the Guard Musketeers. 
And my pike formation is now being attacked in the back over there. And my uh, Swiss guard is getting attacked in the rear by the uh, reformed cuirassiers. My cavalry broke down the enemy over there, which is good. We can kind of set up, maybe deal some damage over there. This one doesn't actually have shot, so that one will be ordered to aid in taking Our down the enemy running, general. Sir. Can we get some organized... There, he's going through. Fire on him. And if you could just target this area, kind of would be nice. That crap. They're all over the place. Why aren't you firing? Drop the square and start to advance. And then cavalry continue around. Can you maybe get a shot off before they charge you? Nope, that did not work out. We do have pikemen ready to be sent this way. Run away, then run away. If you're not going to do as I say, you might as well run away. This pike formation actually is held. And the enemy pikes around have been destroyed. Right, Swiss, pi uh, Swiss um, musketeers leave that fight over there. Cannons, focus in on the one unit that is moving out. You will continue to fire on that one. The guard musketeers will set up over here. You'll move that way and let's see if we can't get him to uh, fight us over there. I don't think the enemy general was ever actually killed. Oh, these are being chased just behind there, aren't they? You will continue firing over there. Good, good, good. We're chasing down the enemy general. Our pikes stuck in against the guard arquebusiers. Musketeer units have nothing to fire at. We'll move them here so they're able to fire down at these. Our men are running, sir. Damn. Right, there's nothing to stop us from, you know, going full-fledged fire on that bastard. Just absolutely crush them. Now, once again, this guard pike formation is surrounded by two sides of enemies. Um... Musketeers of the guard will aid them by charging the halberdiers in the back. And we might just be able to break them before we break ourselves. You should be able to fire on this unit. I'm surprised the Guard Musketeers is holding as well as they are against my uh, pikes over there. What? The Guard Corps? I'm not entirely sure what you're doing. The enemy general just escaped. Alive. Why don't you sandwich this unit then? Right, that unit. The pikes over there. Ooh. Right. Cavalry move away. You prepare a pike square and then late musketeers move back into the fight and the remnants of the musketeers holding on against the enemy okay they are not willing to play ball with me turn around and fire into the backs of these It's good volleys being fired here, but 
is not really doing much, is it? Are we getting proper fire going that way? Move forward and fire from there. Maybe you can aid. General will move in. Oh, they were already broken. We've got sword and buckler men moving away. We'll follow them. The cavalry will move into town, try and deal with this one. We've got small musketeer unit. They will be moving around towards the cannons. You will be heading forward there. I think we'll get a lot closer, actually. Unfortunately, I think the terrain here is not suitable to fire cannon through. Because we don't seem to be hitting all that much. Cavalry. Oh, now they're gone, actually. Move into town and prepare a charge down the main road against the Italian musketeers. You know what? Before we fire the next volley, I'll get a lot closer, actually. A lot has been fired on that house. It's yet to uh, completely break down. Hurry forward. And then we'll give a proper volley at close range against the Italian muscle. They've been fired forever against this really tight formation. And yet it holds. You might as well charge at that point. Oh, completely missed that. A long line is possible. Fire on those. Charge the cannons. The Italian musketeers are moving away. Have they changed? The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Mm. They can rest when they're dead. Are they charging back because they're going for my general? Or are they once more attacking these? Who knows? So my pike formation is actually holding here, which is good. And once the musketeer I'm sure once the musketeers fire will have the enemy completely crushed. I'm trying to uh, ma make it so they have a better target by moving the uh, pikemen back, allowing the musketeers kind of a free range of fire. It seems like it is though the um, cannons which are breaking the Spanish troops in this fight We got more Spanish troops retreating as we're uh, marching in through town. Order the cavalry to go after the enemy. And what enemies are left? It's the cannons. And then it's this unit the guards. Finally, I'm guessing finally for the Swiss pikemen, they've been waiting for forever to be able to unleash on these guards. Charge them. Charge them. They won't be standing for long now. And the pikes... Oh, they kind of split off on either side and then... Sort of attacked them. Sort of fell in on both sides there. To destroy them. And then we have actually won the battle. I was hoping we'd level the entire town, but we didn't actually... We didn't even break down these houses. And I fired a One lot of over here. Has used all its sir. Well, that's just swell because we're 
we're out of enemies to fire at. Right, everyone out of town, because, well, the town is burning at this point. And there we have that. The Spanish were defeated in a very bloody fight. I wasn't able really to check a lot what was going on here, but tons of Spanish troops died here. We'll go and take a look at the statistics now. See who did what in this battle. And here we do have the statistics. I deployed 2,700 men against 2,800 men of the Spanish. I lost 1,500, while the enemy lost 2,400. So I left about 400 Spanish after the battle. And looking at this, I lost about half of my troops, a little bit more. Uh, if you compare the troop amounts there, we, we, we killed about 200 of our own, and so did the Spanish. In terms of kills, we can see that the Guard Francaise pikemen managed to kill 674 men. I imagine it was this unit that was stationed right there. I can't think of any other unit that could have killed that many. Um, and they only ever lost 84 men. I mean, that's still about half the unit. But compared to killing 674, that's quite an achievement. The Swiss pikemen, of course, held this ground throughout the battle. Heavy losses, though, 150 out of 250, and 400 kills for that. Then we got the Guard Corps, uh, lost 19 men, killed 240. Heavy pikemen comes next. So you can kind of see throughout all these battles. We've never had a musketeer up here, or a, any sort of unit that sort of shoots. Except for the musketeer de la guard, I bet they're, they fire a little bit. But all the damage is done through melee fighting. So heavy pikemen, Paris governor's guard, musketeers de la guard, heavy pikemen, uh, guard swiss, musketeers. Here actually the musketeer, but there's a um, quite... A big contrast here in between killing 75, which is the one, the highest kills for any musketeer unit in this fight, compared to the pikes at 674. The, seven, the 600 men more. Um, and then as it falls, we do have some pikemen that didn't perform too well. Heavy pikemen there at 62. Plus the unit was annihilated with only one man surviving. Late French Musketeers. So even though they're late, and I think they've got like those, what's they called? The it's something on M. I can't recall. It's like an early flintlock musket. Um, only killed 45. Guard Frances 45 cannons. Even though we've seen they fire actually multiple cannon shots, they don't seem to be killing that many. But the morale shock of getting hit by the cannons is immense. So 39, even though the cannons, it looks really impressive when they fire, only killed 39. Musketeers, the, I mean, the three musketeers, you kind of think, oh, they're going to be pretty great. Uh, now, it wasn't that great to leave them getting slaughtered by, I think it was Buckle and Swordmen, or if it was uh, Pikemen, but yeah, they didn't do too well, a large part due to my poor performance in moving them around. And as we go down, we got one demi cannon here of 12. I think it's the cannons on the right that were in a bad position. Um, Guards of the Cardinal, cavalry unit, absolutely destroyed, killed only 9. Here we got one cannon. Yeah, the cannons on the right didn't do well. Six killed for that one. They did perform quite well in reducing the morale of the troops on this side. Uh, General five, and then we actually got one heavy pike unit. Only managed to kill four while losing 164. I think it was that unit that kind of went into battle here very early on and got completely lost. Wow. 164 lost. 
And only four killed. Yeah, I think it was the one that got stuck in here. Yeah, it looks like it. These are the ones, the heavy pikemen, which got hats. And they got destroyed by the Spaniards. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the uh, French versus the Spaniards on the Salamanca map. And I'll say, as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And hopefully I'll... Uh, See you guys for the next one. Bye. Our men are...